Hey, what's up Red Web Task Force? It is time for another Halloween special and we are here at Penhurst Asylum tonight. Oh yeah, and we just went over the history of this place and some of the classic stories to the Penhurst Asylum in a recent episode of Red Web. So be sure you check that out before we get into the investigation. However, before we dive in, Fredo, one of our crew members experienced some stuff while we were recording the podcast and it might not have picked up. I know Christian, who's filming this right now, Christian yeah. heard it, but Shane, do you want to come on and tell us what you heard while we were doing the podcast? Yeah, um, as you uh, were introducing the, the, the points about the king, um, I heard a, a footstep, or like a foot slide, uh, more or less. And then shortly after that, mm -hmm. I felt like a, a humming, um, almost like vibration, like over my right shoulder. And then throughout the podcast, I felt like I needed to like crack my neck. Yeah. Like everything was sort of stiff. Like tense. Tense, but I didn't yeah. really realize it. But as soon as I stepped out after the podcast, it's everything like, immediately like released. Oh and my gosh. I was just like, oh, that was yeah, that tension. Was, right. So Ooh. we did some poking around. We talked to the person that helps run this place and is showing us around a little bit. And she was saying, thank, thank you so much, Shane. Thanks, like Shane. where Shane was hearing that stuff like from. <laughs> is definitely where the king is active, the boiler room. So I'm very eager to get in there. Christian and I, while we were off camera, while we were getting wrapped down and ready for this, we were kind of poking around what we thought was the boiler room, but it's actually right. the playroom, which was right behind us. And we immediately started feeling very nauseous. So instantly we have a lot of odd things going on. I'm not sure if I'm eager to have more things happen right. or less, but. And, and it's one of those things too, which is like, it, sure, maybe it's placebo because we're here. Sure. But you guys are experiencing this stuff. Yeah. I'm not, thank God. But, you know, <laughs> but like, uh, I am, man, we just, we haven't even started yet. And there's, yeah. a, there's a lot to explore. We got like all like this here. And I mean, like, look at those windows. I don't know if the camera picks that up, but like, there's just a lot of scary. We got buildings on buildings. Oh, yeah. And uh, we were in. Ooh, that's actually the Quaker building that we were talking about. Can't go in there. A lot of activity, though. But this is the Mayflower building. This is the place that we're going to dive into first. We're going to go up to the top floor. We're going to go down to the basement. We're going to go to the boiler room. And we hear that the king does not like men, nor does he like brave hearts. Right. So, and Christian is the bravest man I know. That's what I hear. Sorry, what? So, uh, Christian, get ready. <laughs> <laughs> in the fear in the, in the building. <laughs> All right, but with that said, I think it's time to begin our investigation. We've gone through the history. We've gone through the closure of this place. Everything we know about the classic haunts and the history of that. With that, that's the most armor yeah. we can have. I Christian think it's time. and I can't stall any longer. <laughs> no, nope. no, nope. unfortunately. All right, you ready? Uh, yeah, yeah. All right, let's do it. Oh. All right, well, hello. If there's any spirits here, I'm Trevor. This is my friend, Alfredo. Hi. We mean you no harm. We're just here to kind of uh, engage with you a little bit. So feel free to come out and get to know us. Do you want to make any sounds? Thank you for letting us into your home. What's that? I think it might be like a distant car. Do you want to move anything? Do you want to guide us? Whoa, look at these walls. What the hell? You think this is like residual writing from one of the supposed seances or rituals? I don't know, we have an upside down star right here. Oh, well, then yes. Yeah, so. Where's that? It's right in, tucked in right Yeah, there. okay. This little, dude, dolls are, I mean, no disrespect to your toys, this one's interesting. If anybody's here, I'd love to play with you. Anybody if you want to move this toy, or perhaps show me which toy is your favorite. Is this your favorite chair? Oh, my light just went out. Literally when you asked if that's their favorite chair, this light went out. I wasn't moving it. I was holding it very steady right here. So go ahead. I'm going to put this down. And we'll see if you can ask any questions and see if it does anything else. I haven't loosened this light. I haven't done anything to it. Oh. Get in there. Is this your favorite chair? It seems so comfy. 
Do you mind if I share it with you? I pull out the EVP. We just want to say hello. I'm being overly confident right now. If you'd like to say anything, we'd love to hear from you. Alfredo is a friendly guy. He just wants to get to know you a little bit. I'm sure it's awfully comfy. You have a awesome collection of toys here. Sorry we didn't bring anything. We have a little teddy bear that you can play around with later if you want. We mean no harm. We just want to say hello. Hope you're doing okay. We're just passing by. We won't be here for long. We just want to say hello. Are you down at the end of the hallway? Maybe it's that item there. And I almost kept seeing like a shadow encroach on the right side, like something was looking. Mm. When I asked, I heard a quick like, a quick like, oh, I think shuffle. That noise might have been me. Okay. Nice what was it? Like, like, oh, creak. Okay. Like, okay. Yeah, let's go quiet on here. No. Oh. It was like softer, and it was like, like a a gentle like touch to something, like almost like a, like a. Something like that, but even softer. That shadow very well could have been this box here, which is in the dark, but it felt very much like something was standing here. Like as I was looking from down there, like it might have been poking out a little bit. Is there anybody down here? Yeah. It was like a high pitched squeak mm -hmm. kind of noise, right? Yeah. Yeah. Could you make that sound again? Did you hear that? No. My skin. What did you hear? It was like something got up out of like an old mattress, like, you know, like the springs and stuff. Oh, I didn't hear that at all. Okay. Just hear I'm going to ask one more time. If that was you, can you make that sound again? There's a distant, like, thud down there. Do you hear that? No. I'd like to come down and say hi to you. I'll keep the light off if you'd like. I'm going to come on down. I mean you no harm, I'm just here to hang out and get to know you a little bit. My name is Trevor. It's just Christian and I coming down here. I really love it if you could make just another sound. I'll wait right here. If you would like us to leave, you could make a sound. Speak to us. I'm going to turn the light on now. Oh, well, that's unsettling to see here at the end of the hallway. How's it look? I mean, I was hearing like some sounds down this way, like some distant thuds, but we heard. So when we were at, like down there towards the end of this hall, when you and Cameron were away, I was on rocking mm -hmm. horse. Did it make like a high pitched kind of like almost chirp, chirp like, like a chitter? Or chitter? Yeah. I mean, it creaked a bit. That was it. We can like and probably not... run the footage together and see if there was anything yeah. that lines up. Yeah. I mean, it didn't creak much, so. Yeah. Cameron, this is a bad idea, right? No, no, no. You got this. Is there anybody down here? What was that? Yeah, what was that? 
Yeah, it wasn't like an animal's chitter either. It wasn't like a squirrel in the trees. It was or... almost like a like a beep. Yeah. Us. Yeah. We we heard it from over there, and then as Trevor and I were walking down this hall, I heard it from either this room or the I think it was this room from back here. Right there. I heard the same kind of beep. Let's take a look. I would love to hear from you. Could you let me know your name? Do you want to uh, come play with some of my toys? How are you doing? How long have you been here? If you're shy, you can go ahead and move something or make a noise just to let me know you're here. We gotta be dead still, I think. Do you want to try to make a noise? Do we frighten you? Not getting much, Frey. Did you get anything down there? See no, anything? Nothing. No? It's a pretty um, tame area. It seems pretty tame after some of the sounds we were hearing upstairs. It's so odd. Well, if you feel talkative later, or if you want to just come say hi or interact with us, we'll be heading down towards the boiler room in just a few minutes. What do you think? You want to head downstairs now? Yeah, I think it's time. Is a good it's sign? Good. It's a good primer. All right, so we're going to bring out some more of our big guns. I think we're going to bring out the Bear, which yep. is a built-in EMF, yep. also built-in e EVP recorder. Motion sensor. Motion sensor, kind of so if it gets moved, it has temperature sensors yep. in it. Uh, and also it asks its own questions. So if we get a little scared, we can just leave a camera on it. Put it down, we'll leave a camera, mm -hmm. a recorder, see if we get anything. Absolutely. Okay. All right. Shane, are you ready? Where's Shane? Right here? Okay. You ready? <laughs> Shane. So, if you watch the video version of the Red Web Podcast, where we talked about this place, this is exactly where we sat for the episode. At some point in that episode, both Shane and Christian heard a noise in that direction, which is the direction of the boiler room. It's also worth mentioning, Christian, appropriate that you're filming this part, because Christian and I came in here just on a whim, just for no reason. And right around over this area, we immediately felt a strong feeling of anxiety and like motion sickness a little bit. So a lot of this stuff is like original, what was like originally left here. Mm -hmm. Pencil sharpener, some of the paperwork, and then there's other things that are left as gifts. They tried to put stickers on the original stuff. So that way, because people bring things like these toys and they don't want them to get mixed up with the history of the place. All right, there we go. All right. Maybe this is an original? Here, let's take a little seat. Let's take a little, little sit here. Oh, God. And we'll just sit in quiet for a little bit. You found a ball. Yeah. Are you going to open up that can of worms? I'm just going to leave it here. Alright. I'm going to turn my light off. I brought a few of my own toys. We have a ball here. We have a teddy. So I will set the teddy right here. Oh, that God, way I'm going to touch And I also have my own little light toy. What we're gonna do is we'll, we'll just sit here in the playroom. If you wanna play with us, we've got a few things.
Boo Buddy has a great question for you. What's your name? You don't have to tell us. You can tell our little buddy here if that makes you feel more comfortable. We also have a ball that we're going to leave here along with our teddy. And if you decide to play with it, feel free to roll it around a little bit. Well, if we make you nervous, we're going to go down the hall and we're going to leave our toys to you. So I'm going to set my little toy down as well. You're perfectly, uh, I'm perfectly happy with you playing with my toys and I would love for it if you'd play with your ball a little bit. On that note, hey, Teddy, take care of them. This is the playroom after all. I have one other toy I'd like to try out. It's just to add a little bit of light. And it helps us know. What was that click? There was a click. There was a click over there. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to leave my special green light right here. It won't be moving, so don't worry about it. But we're going to leave our toys to you. Feel free to play with the ball. Feel free to. Hug the teddy. I think we're having a lot of success with like smaller crews. Mm -hmm. So Fredo, do you want to walk in with the cam? Just kind of, sure. we'll kind of hang out here. We're not going to move, so don't worry if you hear anything. It's not us. Okay. All right. All right. Shane, Fredo, and Nick, go on in. You want to go in there? <laughs> Hello. How's it go? Oh, hi. Okay. Hi. Just want to come take a look. Say hi. Don't mind me. Just take a look around. I won't be long. You want to say hello? Is there a Mr. King around? King, are you hanging out? Just wanted to stop by. Say hi. Maybe have a little talk. Do you want to have a conversation? Like there's a lot that we can teach each other. Okay, well, I'm just going to sit here for a second, turn off the light, and, you know, maybe we could talk. If you'd like to say hello, I'm, I'm open to a conversation. No? I feel like there's a lot that we can discuss. Okay, I won't be here long. Don't want to bother you. I'll be leaving now. Hi, we're back. Let's see if you have fun with the new toys. Hope you enjoyed it. We can leave it here if you want. Otherwise, we're going to take the bear with us. Okay, we're going to head out. Did you have fun with your ball? What again? Would you like to play again? Why would I say again? Very coincidental.
accidental timing. That's a coincidence, That's right? A, yeah. Be sure you tell the bear goodbye before we leave. That was a coincidence. That has to be. Because, yeah, there was. The bear I mean, phrases are prescriptive. It could be that when you picked it up, it sensed the movement. Right. Oh. Uh, so that on. makes sense. That's what I'm banking on. Mm -hmm. okay. It sensed me picking it up and went, oh, you want to play again? Nice. Mm hmm. That was timed very well. It's feeling that's okay, it's that's Yeah, hot. so we know it's feeling. Ooh. <laughs> All right, careful with your eyes and feel the lady in here. Well, thank you for playing with our, to our toys. I hope you had a good time. We will be going to some of the other buildings if you want to come with us. We're going to Candyland, which I understand is another fun room to play in. Sensing me, but come on, man. That's <laughs> oh, actually, let's okay. take a look at this. So you see that sticker right there? That one on that table is to indicate that this was an original piece to the Penhurst facilities. Because a lot of people bring things, a lot of people take things. This is to basically clarify that this is authentic. Thank you for letting us into your space, King. We'd like to say goodbye. And thank you again for letting us explore your boiler room. Okay, so we just came from the Mayflower building. Now we're heading to the Devon building, which has what room, Trevor? The Candyland room, which is, uh, you will I've been told you'll know it when you see it. It's definitely for children and remember we talked about children singing playing with toys right. humming moving all sorts of stuff oh god i think it's another great opportunity for a brave old teddy yep a little, little teddy bear take a little adventure yep but it's also said to be one of the more active buildings as well may mayflower was very active right but so is devon so but I'm it, was, very eager. it was also said that it's usually one building is more active than the other ah, it switches right. between the two so, so we might that see. one wasn't as active more that it's was said that this one would be more active. that's not good okay it's literally halloween and a black cat just oh God, crossed our path cat. literally there's a black cat yeah i, I saw know. it it was somewhere that it crossed our path is it taking us there? This is a nice, like, outside mood lighting, though. It is a nice mental break. Imagine if you saw an owl right there. Oh, nope. <laughs> we already saw what I thought was an owl. It was a hawk when we arrived. Fly. We've seen so many omens. Okay, we gotta welcome ourselves, introduce ourselves, rather. Man, I, just, I felt so good and happy. Now I'm just like, mm -hmm. okay, we're back here. Mm -hmm. Um, hello, we're just, I'm Alfredo, this is Trevor, we're, we just want to take a look around, say hi, maybe have a friendly conversation, we're looking to just hang out and keep you guys a little bit, you know, keep you company. Right, and if you feel like moving anything or interacting with us in any way, just know we're here for it. We're not going to bother you, we're not here to hurt you or upset you, so if you're there, uh, feel free to give us a knock, let us know where you're at, and we'll just kind of stay here for a little bit. We've got a few things in our hands, they won't harm you, they're not going to hurt you or anything, they're just here to help us see in the dark. If you'd like to interact with them, you absolutely can. If you want to make this light move up, all you got to do is touch it. Sounded like a chair rolling upstairs, just yes. ever so slightly. All right, I'm also gonna try to take some flash photos while we're down here. Oh, oh, oh! The EMF was kicking it, and so I moved it away from the flashlight just to see if it was, and it stopped before I could move. 
Bro, is it I'm... because I brought my phone out? Yes. Okay. We, we're good. I, right. ju I jumped into the group so fast, bro. <laughs> I was you, like... You did Operation Meat Shield a little oh too quick. Oh my god. A little too quick for You that. said oh, oh, oh. All right. And I was looking this way while well, that way was dark. That's a new. What's that? This. Oh. <laughs> that looks good. Since we're on the move, I'm gonna put the EVP back away. Start filming some flash photography in some of these spaces. Sure. All right, Shane. Just you and I. We'll take a quick look. If anyone's here, Shane's looking to hang out. He's looking to spend some quality time with you. It's kick it's still party. <laughs> okay. Let's stand in the middle. I'm just gonna turn off the first turn off some lights. I can't imagine being here alone. I really can't. Like just wandering by yourself with little to no light. I feel like it'd be a world of hurt mentally. We're, we're looking to hang out. If you wanna hang out, come say hello. We won't be here long. We don't wanna bother you. We don't wanna anger you. But we'd just like to say hi. You want to hold my hand? Are you safe? Are you angry? Are you happy? I invite you to come say hi. If there's anyone down here, feel free to make a noise. If you want to move any of these pieces of dirt or any of this debris. I'm gonna turn off the light. I'm gonna put my phone away. It is pitch black in here. You got night vision? Yeah. I'm gonna stay right here. What's your name? Can you make a noise? Yeah. That sounded like a woman's voice. Yes. Thank you for talking with us. What's your name? Can we approach? If you don't want us to move any closer, go ahead and knock on something. Okay.
Which room are you in? I missed hearing your voice. Could you say something else? Yeah, I don't know, halfway down this hallway. I thought we might have been onto something. It definitely sounded like a woman's voice. Dude, it sounded like someone fully just speaking. Yeah. We are definitely far enough away now from the building that we were at that we shouldn't be able to hear anything. Do you know where the Candyland room is? It's in the basement. Oh. All right. I think Fred is back this way. Let's go back and like, we were gonna link up with Freya, but we'll compare notes. Let's come back here. Alright. There's no need to be afraid. We're not gonna hurt you. I'll turn off my light if that helps you. If you wanna say anything, if you're scared, you can let us know. Back in complete darkness. We're not here to hurt you. There's no reason to be scared. If that was you crying, could you tell us what's wrong? If you want us to leave, could you move something? Make a noise? What's your name? Someone sat in a chair and it creaked for a second. There's this chair here, but it also sounded like it was higher, but maybe if the sound bounced. I don't mean too brave. Is this your favorite chair? Christian heard like a whimper just right over here. Yeah, well, like as we were running like this corner. Well, seconds before, mm -hmm. it's interesting because seconds before, she and I heard like a single creak like you would sitting in a chair. Mm. And there was a chair probably about like seven feet away from us. And then. Did you sit in it to try it? I, I did. Did it creak? I didn't, but I didn't put all my weight on it. Yeah. Could be um, but then seconds, like, I heard it. I looked at Shane and she was like, yeah, I heard that. And then seconds later, you guys heard stuff. Yeah. As we were coming down this way, when you guys went to the other wing, about a quarter of the way down the hallway, just reaching out, no lights on really, we heard what sounded like a, a woman just speaking. 
very faintly, but all the way down here. As very if, clearly a woman's voice. Yeah, it was a, an effeminate voice, and it was like a full sentence. I just couldn't make out what it was. So this, this spot seems to be very interesting. I mean, we keep hearing things. Because there's just, you know, our, our tour guide is female and is... I felt like something squeezed my bicep. Like something like was pushing on my arm right here. Like right now? It was. Where? Do we want to like hang out here a little bit before we go down yeah. to the candy light Let's room? Let's the lights. Yeah, there's a yeah. the basement has something for it. Oh, goodness. All right. Hi. We just want to say hello. Do you want to hold my hand? Do you want to come hold my hand? Say hello? It's a safe space, I promise. We won't be here long. He's not gonna hurt you. Just wanna know how you're feeling. If you're angry, mad, happy, sad, nervous. If you're scared, what's got you so scared? Okay, I'm gonna put my hands down. touch us or get close to us, you can interact with that. If you want to let us know that you're here, you can move the lights. We invite you to come say hello. Did you enjoy your time here? Did you have fun in this place? Do you want us to leave? Do you know Dr. Fear? He's not here. You have nothing to worry about. We're friendly. It seems like a pattern that kind of repeats is that every time we kind of approach where we've heard sounds and voices, they move or leave or settle down. And that's not too similar to what the tour guide was saying that sometimes get they scared. Th yeah the spirits get scared and they run that would explain like why we kind of like we find a spot a hot spot we move to it and then it kind of goes quiet well thank you for listening to us we're gonna move on we're gonna move to a different area of the building you're very welcome to join us Again, we're friends. We mean you no harm. Well, what we could do is if you wanted to go up and do isolation so we don't have too much sound pollution to each other's investigations, Christian and I can go down in the basement and look at the Candyland room. If you want to go up to the isolation room and kind of Sit quietly with that and just see if you experience yeah. anything. Right, you sure. guys down? 
right. <laughs> Shane Alfredo, we just, Christian Trevor. So we've we split up, a, we haven't split up on separate floors, I don't think. All right, see you on the other side. Later. This is a bad idea. This is not a good idea at all. I mean, there's some level of comfort knowing that there's a group of four people. Yeah. Just the two of us? That's no point though. Well, I can't love you, but... We need more bodies. Oh, this is really... The same names, right? Oh, that's where you send them. It's just like this. The one that says same names, this is... That's the tub. Oh, oh, that's the actual tub, huh? Yeah. Give him the tub. And... I will stand in the tub. <laughs> okay. Come on back to the door over here. Yep. That's a smart move. Okay, I'm gonna drop the lights. Not a good play. Already split up. One, I'm here. Two, I split up. Three, this. Hello? Just looking to say hello. You wanna come hang out? Do you wanna come say hi? Hi. How are you doing? Lovely little place you have here. Have you been enjoying all the visitors? That's okay if you want to. Just say hi from a distance. Okay, we'll be moving on now. It's like you want to, right? It's like part, like a little part of me is like something, maybe anything, right? A huge part of me is like I'm glad nothing happened. I mean, like, people, like I just feel like that would just change my view and change me as a person, like forever. Can you move something for me? To let me know where the Candyland room is? I haven't heard from you in a little bit. Just want to make sure you're doing okay. settling but it was like a knock down there and then a knock immediately above us was that you thank you for knocking on the vents definitely some interesting timing 
on those knocks. But it's hard to say if it wasn't just settling. It's also hard to say it wasn't Alfredo and Shay. Right. Yeah, they're two floors above us, but we don't know how well the sound travels in there. Exactly. This door doesn't budge, but I... What is that? Oh, is this ours? Is that ours? No. You've used these before. How is this still on? Here so as you can see, this is a particular piece of... Now it's amazing that the light was on when we got in here. Because watch when I touch it, it goes even brighter, you see. So this is meant to feed off of activity. And you... Okay, interesting. Normally when there's no activity, these are off. So they're meant to sense either an electric field or spiritual energy. So I'm gonna move it from this spot and see if... Because these are also very sensitive in the fact that they could be, they could go bad pretty easily. And the fact that it's kind of makes me wonder. Why don't I try to... Somebody else must have been through here. And left one of their... this with me. It seems to be staying on, so I'm not going to put a lot of faith in it, but not a bad idea. What was that? Did you hear that? Yes. Holy. You heard that? Yes. It was like a whimper or a laugh. Or no, it was like a whimper. Are you okay? We're not here to harm you. Is this you? Yeah, I think I think that's completely valid. I think it totally depends on what you experience. Like you, I mean, if the you hear a whisper in your ear or like something grab you, the ball rolling out, maybe a loud thud or uh, something, you know, someone screaming or whatever it could be. I think that kind of like that determines how you react. I hope it saved the other EVPs. This time I said saved, the other times I don't know. <laughs> so what happens? You got new hardware, they all operate different. When you pulled out the EVP, I heard it again. This? When I picked it up? No, when you pulled out the EVP out of your pocket, mm -hmm. I heard the whimper again coming from the corner. It's all coming from this corner, yeah? From that corner? No, I heard it from the corner. This yeah. corner? Bigger. Yeah. 
Then Yorktown Memorial, another one of those stickers, so I guess another a desk. Decades old. Is this your ball? A lot of people bring in balls. Play ball. I'm gonna roll it down this hallway over here, and if you want, you can make it go into any of these rooms if you want to tell me something or if you want to show me something. Okay, there is a light. Yeah, that has to be now. Yeah. Just the way he was shaking yeah. it. All right, I do want to do something with this ball. So here's what I'm going to do. Instead of urging this ball to move, I'm going to turn my light off. Since they're gone now, they're out of sight. I'm going to turn my light off. You'll turn yours off. I'm just going to roll it right down the middle. I'm not going to give it any bias. I'm going to go as straight as I can. A train. <laughs> and we'll see. I'm going to kind of give some guidance to the spirits or whoever might want to interact with this. All right. You good? All right. I'd like to play ball with you if you're still here. I'm going to roll it down the hallway. I can't see anything. I'm going to roll it down the hallway, and if there's anything you want to show us, if you want to put it in a room, if there's anything you'd like to say, feel free to nudge this ball in the right direction. I'm going to give it a gentle roll down the middle. Here you go. Do you mind if we come see where you put the ball? Jesus Christ. Oh, that crap out. Oh my god. I pulled a Christian. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna use a light. That was me. Oh my, oh my god. That was just me. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna move this back. I just feel a little bit superstitious. How? Okay. I. So you lost it. I thought it hit something like and went dead stop, but it's right in the middle. I wonder if it hit this cushion and then yeah. bounced off. I mean, it, it seemed like it went from a good speed down to zero. Yeah. So, well, it stopped in front of this room that we can't go in. And there's a cricket that just stopped. Red door. Red door. Are you, here, I'll do this. Did you want to show us this room? Did something happen here? Cricket, all right, come on, Jiminy. Cut it out. Let the spirit speak. Okay, we can't go in. I didn't want to give it a gander. So we rolled this ball down the middle of the hallway and with the direction to the to any spirits that might be listening to stop it or nudge it or yeah. push it in a certain direction if they wanted to play give point. us a sign. And I, I don't know, I couldn't see anything. We had night vision on, so we can go check the tape, but I listened to it and it kind of was like T -t 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 skittering along mm -hmm. and then it sounded like it went T -t -t, like it hit something. Yeah. And the fact that it was out here eludes me because it sounded like it hit something and if it bounced back just like, it'd be one thing if it went, like, hit this right. and then bounced back. But there's nothing really in when it's got this yeah. momentum to hit. So Christian was saying maybe it hit this cushion, but I feel like it would have hurt some more rolling. Yeah, it would have hurt more, more, more rolling. Yeah, it's, it's possible, though. It, it really is. Fairly quickly after we heard the thing. Yeah. Did not keep oh, you guys are... We, we heard some whimpers and stuff back here. Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. yeah. There's also, clearly there was another team investigating at some point recently. Mm -hmm. I'll show you. All right, so in this room, I happened to walk by. 
You know what's funny? Mm -hmm. This ball stopped outside of another room that said Rowdy. Oh, so like you were about to? So yeah, like as I was walking by, I saw a blue light in this room and I was like, what is that? I wouldn't touch it. Yeah. And I started explaining to Christian what this is because we've used this on Pawn Turk, which is just a different ghost hunting show that I've guested on before. And it has like this light is on always, which is interesting because normally it's off and it comes on when someone touches it or it's very sensitive to that. So I was going to use it and I'm, as I'm leaving, we hear loud and clear a whimper from within this room. So we come back in and I put it back down and I heard a few other things, like I heard another whimper as I was approaching over here. You guys are experiencing some stuff, man. I yeah. We, uh, we heard another whimper from the corner, and as Trevor headed towards the corner, we heard the ceiling creak above us, mm -hmm. right above where Trevor was. We were upstairs, but I mean, a big coincidence. Yeah, because this would be the ground floor. Were you guys on the ground floor? Uh, no, we went through the stairs all the way down. Because we are like way far away on the ground floor. Yeah, there was another point where we were down this hallway and we heard the, uh, the noise above us as well. Mm -hmm. Like there was a distinct, like a couple taps on the vent above us. Like we heard a tap, we stopped. We heard a tap right above us. As if like the metal was relaxing. You know how it goes like pling? Yeah. And then I asked if it was, if they were making that sound, if they could make it again. And there was a distant one then down further. What? And so Wait, it sounded, are... sounded like something was settling, like the building was settling, but right, it was also but like still, the timing was the very timing interesting. Was... So you guys are getting some experiences. if you want, to engage in a more uh, antagonistic manner, you can take this and leave. I imagine they left it. I don't know if the spirit was, was inclined to want it, so like, but you can definitely take it. I'd be the last one out if I were you, and then I'd also listen closely just to see. Can you in this one? See now. Can you move one of these toys? Be back in a little while. This was wild. Yeah, the room was massive. What was this? I think it was a swamp. Jeez, maybe. Yeah. Thank you. 
Okay. Can you go back and check out that? Check out a little frame. Going back to take our little toy if you don't want to keep it. Hope you had fun playing with it. Did you like the bear? Do you want us to leave the bear? If you want us to leave the bear, please make a noise. If you want to move one of your toys, You can hold the bear's hand. Okay, I'm going to take our bear back now. All right, goodbye. Thank you for letting us into your space. Have a good night. All right, what do you say to it? All right, I'm here. <laughs> what time is it in the afterlife? All right, so the infirmary. Yep. And the long stretch of tunnel, which actually lies directly under where we're walking right now. Ooh. Is the infirmary is. that way, or is that just the tunnel? The, I know the tunnels are that way. She yeah. said she would show us to the infirmary. Oh, okay, That's right, because it's yeah. a bit of a hike. Yeah. <sighs> the tunnels. Um, yeah, I think. I think the interesting thing about the tunnels is that, like, sure, you could be in a scary bathroom, scary office space, mm -hmm. scary hallways, hospitals, whatever. Tunnels, I feel like, is going to be a rare change of scenery. This is like a tunnel. Oh, excuse me. This is like a hallway that goes on and on and on. It bends and wines and this goes underneath the entire campus and if you want to see how to get there you go way down there and then you hook a yui and you go right down there there begins the tunnel so they have like a little bit of a thing here with the tunnels oh the challenge yeah the challenge mm -hmm. and so trevor has accepted the in the bravery of company, I've taken on the mantle of the solo 10 minute oh, challenge man. in the tunnel. Just, We're all gonna go down there. We're just, gonna poke around. And then if I'm still up to it, I just, I just don't. you guys are gonna leave and I'm gonna take one of these cameras and I'm gonna try to sit there for 10 minutes. Okay. Look, that's, it's hard to get through. I don't know how it's gonna be. I'm just kind of blacking out right now. I'm like, not even present. <coughs> like my mind's not here. That's a long time. It's back home time. playing video games. I don't know. The tunnel alone. Oh God. Of an it's, asylum. This thing touched me and I freaked. <laughs> Sorry. I, I'm very not here right now. <laughs> Do we want to just try and get out of the way? I think one step in front of, in front of the other. Yep. Just go. And you just end up in it. I'm getting bit by something. I'm getting bit. Oh, God. No way. Oh. Is this it? Is this actually it? This is disgusting. Oh, my God. Yes. Oh. What? No. Yes, sir. Yeah, hell no. Hell no. Whoa. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my, my God. God. Oh. This looks so oh. much worse oh. than I would have thought. No. As is customary now. Let's God, just... the bugs are down here too. Hello? If there are any spirits here, my name is Trevor. This is Alfredo, and these are our friends. We come in friendship. Have you seen It does not look good down there either. Oh. Oh man. Oh dude. 
dude. Oh, dude. Oh. If oh. there's anyone down here or anything, we encourage you to make a sound. Let us know. Be heard. Yeah. He's doing it. What is, what is your fault? I, oh, you didn't commit. Hell no, I'm not no. committing. Are you kidding me? Okay, we're gonna both run, and we're gonna and we're gonna give up whenever we give up. Who can make it the furthest? <laughs> I, no, no almost light. what we need to have is like a flag. So you stick it to the wall, and I'll go stick mine. Because if we run together, two's a company, right? We can make it forever. Oh my god. No flashlight. You just walk up and place your flashlight. All right. No flashlight. You're running blind down this hall. You think I'm going to things Not running blind. You can just too. walk down. Make it even worse. All right. Do you want to go first? Do you want, you want me to go first? You go first. <laughs> it's easier if I don't look. But I can hear how vacant it is. <laughs> you have to look. You have to leave. Oh. There's like windows. Oh my god. Are you serious? Don't do the 10 minute thing now though, please. Lost him. Oh my god, I can't dude. See him right oh my god. This is where we tell his tale. <laughs> That's good. I just had a weird feeling. I need my flashlight though. Oh, oh no fing way. <laughs> I can't even see it. trust in one another and explore these places, we can't go pranking willy-nilly. We've agreed no pranks, just arbitrarily. Did you find my flashlight? Did you get it? No, no, no. I call it light, yeah. Bro, did, yeah. You, did you disappear? You made it. Oh, you're gonna backpedal. That's smart. That's smart. That's survival tactics. Okay. That's it was like, in. Because it was like as soon two, as I turn, like, you oh get the heebie right? It was like two or three steps. Dude, 10 minutes? That's, no. I'm sorry. No. It almost feel better if there weren't like corridors. <laughs> Dude, the Dude. weird like, Corridors off to the side. That's the thing, and along the way, here I'll use my shadow to point. But like along the way, like here's like, one right yeah. here. There's like little windows. Like little vantage points that like they look like mesh or something. Alright, where's that flashlight? Did you leave yours? Yeah, yeah. Right, we gotta go get it. Of course, of course I did. You just put it like one inch ahead. <laughs> I just like three. That's like two feet ahead. Like this is like a confessional, dude. All right, the king, forgive me for I'm about to do the 10 minute challenge. King? Okay, so we want to go down the hallway as a group, right? And just see what's on the right and left. I want to see what's on the left. Here's the flashlight. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, why go further when a wind's a wind? There was a moment that were like, I had the light and then the light went away from me. It's so dark back there. Yeah. So we gotta go to the union. Oh my god. You're one of these balloons, Pop. Stop it, I was just thinking that. <laughs> <laughs> you have a daddy in your teeth. Do you Oh man, this is down here. Ooh. Oh my god, this is bad. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. So that is the end. I mean, that's the end that we are allowed to go up to. We can't go any further than that wall. So we gotta go up to it. Of course, we gotta go touch it. 
but carefully with the screws. But this tunnel goes way further down. Oh God, who is going through these tunnels? Like, I wouldn't want to transport myself or a patient through this. Someone said, I win. They went far. Oh yeah, they said it wasn't blocked up, right? So it goes. They said stop at the woods. The woods. Come on, man. Is this the woods? Yes. Oh my god. <gasps> oh my god. Oh, I hate that. I mean. <gasps> we committed to the end. Now imagine a hand comes out and pulls one of those black plastic oh, curtains we're back. Going, right? Huh? Where's the woods? Right, right there, there, past yeah. that curtain. She meant the actual woods. Oh. I think past that curtain is the woods. I think so. How much would it cost? It's Trevor or anyone else here to go down this entire hallway from the start to the end. No light, just your hand up against the wall. Yeah, they need some trip hazards here, but you know. Yeah, aside from that. You just scream all the way out. Yeah, I think Shane's right. It's these other corridors yep. that really freak me out. Just, just too much unknown empty space. Is this the place? There's no way. Oh, that door goes to the woods. Okay. Yo, does somebody come hang out here, dude? That's why uh, you do the challenge. No! You wouldn't do the challenge there? <laughs> That's not the challenge. Yeah, That's the chair the challenge. That's the challenge chair? No. There's hula hoops down here. I could do that for a few minutes. I could learn hula hoops. There's so much stuff down here. Well, some, you gotta keep yourself occupied when you're, you know, staying in haunted places for 10 minutes alone. Sorry, <laughs> I'll be real. The thing that has me scared the most is not this empty long hallway, it's the fact that there's signs of life. Yeah. And I just don't want there being a person somewhere. You'd hear that. Yeah, you would. But that's the scariest part. I mean, here's the thing, like, we'll be down at the end of the hall. So if you say light, sun will come up. <laughs> we'll flash all those lights. This is wild. This is absolutely Christian. wild. I'm not. I'm not staying down there. No sure. hell no. I'm not even staying in eyesight in this thing. No, just. I'll no. stay at the first bend. Oh my god, we do that? Yeah. I was gonna say just halfway down, or like, like maybe like, fifteen feet past the, where the our lights were. I could have sworn I heard a door, a door creak while we were talking. Let's, yeah, let's take a peek. Let's take a listen. Guys, this is the start of a horror movie. You know that, right? It's a found footage film for sure. Let's walk back. I'll find a spot. I also don't want to be around a blind curve. Yeah. I don't like that. I guess the only thing that would make me feel kind of okay doing this is if I don't hear a single footstep. If I hear repeated footsteps, then it's, that's game over. I'm ending it then. It's so hard to tell what sounds are coming from. Are you doing it there? Is this the spot? I think this is... I think that's the spot. You're like not close to the bend or that door. Yeah. I mean, that's the big thing for me is like the unknown corners. Dude, I, I couldn't. 10 minutes. No, no, 10 minutes is. It is 119. You guys will clear out. It'll be 120. I'll go to 130. Oh, Jesus. You are a savage. <laughs> Bye. Good luck. See ya. That's forever, man. All right, 120, 
Lights off. 10 minutes. He's been experiencing things all night and thank goes into the tunnel. Absolutely not. And hell no. I love you, Task Force. Not that much. It's oddly calming for some reason. And I take that back instantly. I had to just, I needed the light for just a second. As soon as I said that, here I'll move so you can see down the hall. That's the end that I see right there. As soon as I said that, I felt like, like the darkness was encroaching on me even more. And like I could see shapes moving within the dark. Imagine closing your eyes and being down there. It's like, I, I can't see anything, but I at least want my eyes open. If you see something towards the exit, you're f***ing right. Like, you're screwed. There's nothing you can do. You only have the exit. Hopefully that door at the end isn't jammed and you just run into the woods. <laughs> like... There's wild movement. I got goosebumps. My scalp has never felt tighter. <laughs> There's a lot of sounds happening down there. Seven minutes. Hello? Are you moving down there? This wasn't a lights off challenge because like, every time I hear a sound, I have to aim that way. There's no way. There's no way. You are insane. Dude, no way. No way. Oh, I'm sorry. What happened? So many sounds coming from that way. Like, I tried to keep my light off, but every time I would do it, there would yeah. be another knock or another step or just another sound. <sighs> All right, let me check my heart rate now. I mean, I just ran. 79? 80? Not bad. Cool, calm and collected. Not bad. Hey, there's a message in that. Oh. I wonder if, like, there's a game that they're playing for Halloween where People have to run down and pop a balloon and see what they get. Oh. Or maybe it came from some far in you came or something. Oh, that's right. Yeah, see how there's like a... Huh. Did you talk a little bit about... Yeah, there it is. You see it. We talked a little bit about how they kind of turned it into a bit of an attraction. Alright. We conquered the tunnels. I mean, come on, man. Look at that. Yeah, there are clickers in there for sure. Because anytime there was a sound, I had to look. I can't hear a sound and not look. That's self-preservation. Mm -hmm. Listen, I've seen the movies. I don't blame you. That's where we like check the hallway after 10 minutes and it's just the camera. <laughs> I mean, there's a reason why we're the number one movie podcast about mysteries. That's true. I've seen all the movies. I'm prepared. We, there are rules. <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah, what a night. Well, Christian, if you're still feeling nauseous, we're heading to the infirmary. Oh, oh goody. Yeah, yeah, we can go ahead and lay you down on the bed. You could spend some time the there. Beer. Go ahead and cool off. Which, which way is it? The, oh, is it yeah, over this way. Back over there. Oh, yeah. It's a trek, you know. 
All right, so this is the last stop mm-hmm. of our little Halloween special. Yeah. The infirmary. Um, it's said to be like layout wise, uh, you. The, was it the women's ward was on the right, men's on the left? That way. And then we have like one little like dental office. Yeah. Um, but yeah, this is it. This is the last tour, then we go home. Yep. <laughs> so let's see what happens. After the tunnel, I don't know. I feel numb to everything. Yeah. So yeah, it's, maybe that was the move. This is the dessert. This is the dessert. <laughs> All right, let's get this some friendly cool off. Casper action. I think the crazy thing about this place is just the different or like layouts. Yeah. Like it, they're so unique. And then I mean, granted, this is my second ever ghost hunt, but Yorktown was very like okay. You get the layout. You get what it is. Here it's I'm, I don't know, man. Big rooms, small rooms, medium rooms, tunnels. So this is where the last. This is the last dentist office. This is where the last chair was. They took it out so they could protect it and put it somewhere secure so no one could break it or steal it. Or and then I guess Zach Bagans has whatever other dentist chair they have in his uh, Vegas museum, which is really cool. Oh, like a little flavor text, like paint. What are, you, what are you talking about? This is someone, someone has identified a corner and marked it with some sort of bodily essence. It leaves up to all this. Thank God I'm colorblind or I might freak out about the sight of whatever that is. Yeah. Oh, someone just came with like red paint, started marking everything up. It's true. The truth chose. The truth choose earn A? Oh, I'm reading half of it. One tells the truth, other lies. Choose wisely, earn a prize. Is it like these doors? Uh, yeah. Is that some sort of Pennywise situation? Dude, it's these doors. Well, it's, good thing I follow rules. I think rules. it's referring to these two doors. Yeah, guess what? You know where the prize is? Uh, Out the front door. Yep. Really not behind those doors. I think it helps a lot that the windows are open. You're I not gonna hear as many like unknown sounds. It's just, it's a nice palate cleanser, right. you know? After everything we've been through. I'll be honest, this is nice and tame. When do you think the last time this rang was? Oh. I'd be genuinely curious. Yeah, it looks like uh, some of these doors were deadbolted right. from the inside, so they just like hacksawed the deadbolt out. Now why does this immediately look much more sinister? Oh, maybe it's because the roofing tiles are, are gone. The ceiling, the drop ceiling is gone. It just looks way, way less homey. Oh, oh my god. Oh, those two doors look like they're just storage. Oh, are they open on this side? They're open on this side. Oh yeah. I wonder what the prize was on the other side. Oh, they're over here too. <laughs> All right. Well, now their game is maybe maybe they meant pick a side oh. versus the other wing. What an experience this place is. Mm-hmm. That's the infirmary. Well, I don't know if I'm. I thought I'd be disappointed if we found a spot that wasn't super hot, but I feel like after so many sounds and doing the tunnel and just this whole night, yeah. you, I think you nailed it. It's a bit of a palate cleanser. It's just, almost more intrigue yeah. than otherwise. I, I think it's like a cool layout. It's definitely like different. Mm-hmm. Not as like, oh my goodness, where are we? It's not, not as terrifying, but still an experience all in its own. Yeah. I mean, you can just picture like you know people in different rooms being treated and it's just insane that this whole facility used to just be full of life. Yeah. Alright, well that has been I think Penhurst. This was our last stop of the night. I'm like mentally and physically exhausted. Oh yeah. Because I just feel like I've been like tensed up yeah. for like four hours. Hunched over, looking around. More than that, actually, we've been here. Yeah. 
What's your like? I mean, we've we've had a lot of little things, some yeah. voices, some knocks, some sounds, some whatnot. But like, what stands out from? We split off a few times. What stands we out did. to you as like the most memorable thing that you can't really properly explain? Um, I, like I honestly don't think I've experienced like anything throughout this. Really? Yeah, I maybe heard like a shuffle here and there, but nothing that really was like insane i think by proxy mm -hmm. it would be your guys experience when you heard the like little whimper yeah because um what we didn't show is all we're just kind of like uh decompressing for a second in the you know in the room just relaxing like you know you played it back and i could hear it mm -hmm. like I, it, it's clear as day that you can hear it i'm so eager to and, and put so, it on the computer and like listen to it yeah. and bump it up and so for me, I'm like, by proxy, I'm like, that is crazy. Mm -hmm. um, the tunnel is still like, it's just wild. Yeah. Like, even if it I just, like, shut wasn't down. like, it's not, you know, those are really stories about the tunnel being haunted or anything, but it's just a creepy place. Yeah. Yeah. What about Super dark. for you? Definitely the whimper. Because it, it was like being in the room and looking around and not seeing anybody. Right. We're kind of talking, we find this little device. And then we kind of keep moving around. And then when we leave, leaving a room where no one's in it, and then you hear a voice within that same yeah. room, and you turn around and there's still no one, there was something super off about that. Yeah. So that, I think, was definitely the most audible thing. The other thing that still comes to my mind was when we were looking down a hallway on the ground floor, I think of the same building, Christian, right? And we heard a woman's voice. Yes. Like so almost building. a full sentence, just very, very quietly. That is weird. Yeah. The only fear I have is like, those are so quiet, like those little experiences yeah, might like, not pick up, but that whimper was there. That's crazy. Yeah, I just never, I didn't have anything that was, that was remotely even that vivid. Dang. It was pretty, like pretty tame. Pretty tame? Happily pretty tame. Yeah. But Outside like, of what's happening, yeah. like fear-wise up here. Yeah. I think it's insane just like, the fatigue that I'm feeling now. Oh, yeah. Now that like my body, my mind knows that we've gone through this and we've explored everything and now it's time to like pack up and head home. Mm -hmm. My body's like, oh my goodness. Yeah. Like it's, the adrenaline's worn off and so like I'm feeling the fatigue now. Yeah. It was essentially a nine to five as long as, as terms as, I'm tired. In yeah. terms of like hours spent here. Like, so if somebody were to watch all this raw footage and begin their work day, by the time they're ending, we're yeah. ending. It's like that's kind of what we did yeah. tonight. Yeah, it's tense the entire time. Yeah. So, um, yeah. I mean, that's our what's that? That's Penhurst Asylum, our little Halloween special. Yeah. Task Force, as always, you guys have been absolutely amazing, which is why we get to go and do something like this. Mm -hmm. um, it's bigger. It's scarier. And, uh, and I don't know what that means for next year. <laughs> I know. Like I just I this is only my second ever like ghost hunt but this just seems like it's so high up there it sets yeah. the bar very this high was, this was a real treat the different i mean again even without the experiences it's such a historic yet dark place that um it, it was a i don't know it was a, it was a lot it was a lot to experience such history but yeah. also know how dark it was but also be able to explore these things so freely it was, a, it was a real treat. So we really want to thank everybody at Penhurst for allowing us to come out here and investigate the place. It was awesome. Otherwise, awesome. Task Force, stick around. Every week we got something new, but next yeah. year, I don't know. I don't know what we're going to have to do. We're going to have to go up from here. Oh, God. So give us those ideas. Uh, Thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. If you, if you found anything that we didn't speak to, please let uh, us know. Let us know. We're going to be going through the EVP stuff. So we're gonna listen through any yeah. of those recordings. But as you're watching, if you see anything, comment, let us know, yeah. tweet us, make sure we don't miss it. Yep. All right. Oh. Bye, everybody. We I rest now. We did it. All right, we're going home. All right, I'm gonna head this way. I'm heading home now.